hello, my name is Roisin Bell um, and I am here just to talk about the Thrive programme and how I first encountered the programme and the benefits of, of this particular programme to myself and a number of um, our footballers. I first encountered the programme when Stevie Chan came to our club to talk to our senior ladies footballers and this was part of a thing that was ongoing in the club about health and well-being and the initiatives that we were putting in place. Um, and I suppose like lots of other people, I kind of would believe I'm coping f fairly well with life myself. But boy did I learn so much from this programme in terms of how I do have, like lots of other people, a quite unhelpful thinking style, which if you like um, makes me catastrophize a bit when something happens and getting things totally out of perspective when really I need to step back, take a breath and, and look at things. So the program if you like teaches you how to just take a step back sometimes and realize that a lot of the situations that you're in you're putting yourself into that situation and by taking the right steps and taking a good cold look at it, you, you can undo it, you can learn these things. I wouldn't have believed that until until I experienced this thing with Thrive. And for example, I had one particular issue where I had a, a health scare, or what I thought was a health scare, when I had a, a rise in blood pressure during a very, very stressful day. Um, I got the whole thing totally out of perspective, thought I was going to take a stroke, thought I was going to take a heart attack, and all kinds of things. I went into a bit of a blind panic about it. Luckily I had an appointment with Stevie Chan the next day as part of the programme and I told him that and he put everything back into perspective and really you know, taught me some good, good steps, good um, mechanisms for trying to stop this unhelpful thinking. And one of the things that I remember from that day was he said I'd let things blow up like a balloon and I needed to deflate that balloon and that I could do that. And I left that day slowly deflating that balloon and with that, as a result of all of that, the blood pressure did naturally come down quite considerably and I'm pleased to say that a month later everything's completely normal. Um, but without that intervention and without that help to allow me to take control and take control of situations like that, to say these, help, these unhelpful thoughts, you really need to take them back. You know, and, and Stevie would be saying, you're not born like that, you're not born with even negative things, you create those yourself, it's how you think about things. He often refers to spectacles and basically you can look at things through rose tinted spectacles, you can look at things, funnily enough, that he calls shit tinted spectacles. Um, and I probably, like lots of other people, looked at things through shit coloured spectacles and a result of that, life can be uh, difficult when, when you do that. So it's a case of being aware of that uh, and and so on and trying to really really create positive thoughts you know there's so many positive things that go on in our lives and we just let them go and concentrate on the negative so what I have started to do is concentrate on the positive things and I have learned as well that it, it requires a bit of work to do that yes but it's a bit like our football team if people don't go to training and don't practice the skills they're not going to win matches it's a bit the same your mind is a very very important thing and it's so important that you practice and continue to practice to reinforce the positive things in in life and therefore enable you to develop skills and mechanisms to deal with things when they go wrong because life is not um, a bed of roses things will go wrong and what i have learned so much over the last couple of months is just an ability to deal with things when they happen and to turn them not necessarily into a positive experience but it's just a set of skills that I now have in my toolkit if you like to enable me to to deal with things and if as sometimes things will happen I suppose I will always know that somebody like Stevie is at the end of a phone and it's a very very positive thing to to know that so I would recommend the Thrive program to anyone um, even to you know younger people who haven't maybe experienced an awful lot of negativity in their lives, just to learn good coping skills. It's as important as, as uh, GCSE in English to know how to, to deal with, uh, with things. So I would very, very positively endorse the programme and recommend it to anyone.